Hey everyone, welcome back to WP Glossy and in this video we will look at how to create a staging site in Cloudways. We have always used Cloudways to host our websites but this is a great way to actually create a staging site. So let's begin by logging into your account. So the first step is to log on to your account and as soon as you log in you can start creating a staging site. So now that I have logged in, the first step is it automatically lists your service. Now select applications. So there are a lot of applications. You will have to select one of them for which you're going to create a staging site. Now that I have selected the application, I am going to launch this application in a new tab. So you can see that the site is being loaded in a new tab and this is the current situation of the application. The next step is to go back to staging management in Cloudbase. So the purpose of staging needs to be understood at the first step or it can be tough for you to understand its use. Basically, it is an isolated environment with a lot of features that you can try out in a demo site and then launch it out in a live site. So that is the basic use of this staging management available in Cloudways. Read this highlighted text and then go forward so that it is helpful. Now that I am going to click on launch staging application. So you have to select one of the servers available. So once that is done, click on continue. Remember that this is going to take a bit of time. So you have to stay patient. Now you can see the current progress. So it is creating the staging application for one of the servers that we have. Now that you can see the current situation that the staging application has been created. What is the next step? You can see that you have to click on applications and now you can see that the staging application is being created and is marked as staging. So you have to click on that and you can also see that there is an option to protect your password. I am going to temporarily disable it. So you can also enable if you want. So now I have disabled the password protection and I'm going to launch this staging application. So we have a live application and a staging application. So if you see the staging application, the URL basically has WordPress hyphen some numbers dot cloudbaseapps.com and the content in the site is going to be the same as the actual application. So it is almost the same. So whatever we are going to do in the actual application will get reflected in the staging application and vice versa. So that is the advantage of staging management. Please understand this as the first step. So what next? We are going to try out with different features and changes in different versions of the site to understand how it is going to work out. So I'm getting back to the staging application. You can see that the text and all the features are almost similar. The next step is to log on to your WordPress. So I am entering my information in this WordPress admin. So you have to go on to admin portal and then make the changes. So I'm just logging on with the same credential. And as soon as I log in, I'm going to see everything similar to the actual application. So I'm just going to create a staging application for the actual one. So I have launched them in two different tabs. What is the next step? I'm going to make a tiny change in the staging site. So let me go back to theme customizer in the staging application. I'm going to make a very small change to see if this process is working out. So you can see that there is a customizer panel on the left. You can see a lot of options. I'm going to click on header and navigation and enable vertical navigation in the staging application. I've just directly published it and it will display it in the staging site. What is the next step? You have to see if it is reflecting in the actual site. So here you can see the staging site has a vertical navigation on the left pane. So we have to check out if staging management can be done for the actual site. So for this, you have to go back to the cloud based management. So you first take a look at both the versions of the site. And after that, you can push on staging so that you understand how the process actually works out. You can see that the post and everything is the same. Now go back to cloud based here you have to watch this one closely. So select the server and select the main application over here and then click again staging management. You can see two options available, pull and push. So the first step, 
is to actually launch the change you see in staging application to the live application for which you have to click on pull. So this will copy the data from staging to live, select the staging application and then click on pull. Make sure you check all the details you would like to get copied. So if you wanted to take backup, you can take it or you can leave it as such. I'm just going to click on pull and see what is happening. So this one is again going to take a bit of time. You have to stay patient. So now it says the application has been deployed. So which means it's time to check out our staging application and the actual application. So here is the staging application. I'm just refreshing and you can see that the changes are there as such. So here is the actual application and what I'm going to do is a quick refresh. And you can see that there is a vertical bar on the left pin. So we can see that the change in the staging application is happening in the original application as well. So this is the advantage of the pull option available in the staging management of Cloudbase. So what is the next step? We have made a small change and this is reflecting. I'm going to make another change. So we can see that there are a lot of plugins. So there are two plugins on the site, so on the staging application. So what about the original application? Let me go back to WordPress and then see how many plugins. Again, there are two plugins. So it's the same. What I'm going to do is add one more plugin to the staging application. So I'm just finding different plugins and I'm selecting Yoast SEO as one of the plugins for the staging application. You just type the name and then start finding it out. Click on install now and then you have to activate this plugin. So I have installed it and then activated it as well. What is the next step? So remember you are working on the staging application. You can find that with the URL. So I'm going to configure the first SEO application plugin for this site. So it starts with start SEO data optimization. I'm just going to click on this so that the configuration begins. I have clicked on that and then the optimization is running. What is the next step? Click on continue. And then you can see there are different options to configure this plugin. The next one is site representation. If yours is an organization, you can also select logo. I'm going to select a random logo over here. Let it be any site. This is only for the testing purpose. So I have added a logo and then I'm going to click on save and continue. For the next step, I'm going to add details of WP Glossy over here. Facebook and Twitter handle of WP Glossy is required. The next step, personal preferences, you can select or unselect the site data tracking option. It is totally up to you and enter your email address and then click on save and continue. Your configuration is almost done. So you can go back to SEO dashboard to see the information. So I'm clicking on visit your SEO dashboard and you can see that problems are zero, notifications are zero. So now that the plugin is being configured on the staging application, we have to check out if this is happening in the original application. Keep a track of the URL. You can see that in the original application, there are only two plugins. So again, we are going back to Cloudways, selecting staging management, again, clicking on pull so that the change happens in the original side, the live side. So again, click on pull and you can see that the data is being changed and it is being deployed. So right now it's time to select the application, the original application and then see if the change is made, refresh it. And then you can see that Yoast SEO is being installed, activated and configured. To check that I'm clicking on this plugin and you can see that problems are zero, notifications are zero and configuration is already done. So this means pull enables you to make changes in the staging site and then push it, sorry, pull it to the original site. So there is a difference between pull and push. So this happens over here. And the next step, what are we going to do? We have tried out with pull. We are going to try out with push. So for this reason, I'm going to the actual application and then creating a new post titled original site demo post. I'm going to right now make changes in the original application. So let me add some dummy text over here and then create a post. It can be any text. So this is purely for testing purpose for you to understand it better. So right now you can just add the post and then add the featured image. 
select one of the images from your media library and then once you select it publish it so where does this post get published it is in the actual application which is a live site so you can view the post on the same url so click on view post you can see that this article is being published you can also refresh it and you can see that the article is being published in the title original site demo post what happens to the staging site is it the same or different now let's go back refresh it and then see you can see that the new post is not being updated in the staging site so for this reason we have to go back to cloudways staging management the option right now is to push whatever change that you have made in live will have to reflect in staging so for this reason you are going to select push option and not pull option you also have some information about each buttons so read it and then go ahead so clicking on these and then clicking on proceed you can see that the data is being copied from the live site to the staging site so it says application has been deployed so which means the post is copied so can we check it so this is the actual live site and you can see the post over here now let's go back to the staging site clicking on refresh and what is this you can see the original site demo post being published here as well so the push option is working out fine we have checked out with both pull and push option and we can see how staging happens in cloud base there is also an option to see what are the changes that you have made so that you can click on view logs and you can see the number of times you have clicked on pull number of times you have clicked on push and these are all the options i hope this video was useful to you subscribe to wp glossy thank you